Costa Golf Performance Centre and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about pitching from what I gained um, from the experience of meeting uh, David Pell, the uh, godfather of short game. Just know so much about his game, the, uh, the short game, sorry, I mean, it's scary. He's just, the amount of hours he must have put into researching is just, it's crazy. He, every stat was there, boom, I know this because of this and I know this because of that and it was just unreal, you had no other choice but to um, to listen to what he was saying really, I mean, the way he's teaching which I'm going to um, demonstrate shortly for you and what I gained from um, a couple of lessons with Brian Bichelle, one of his other uh, instructors there, was just invaluable and um, maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't, some of the stuff that you do actually doing this method it seems so strange it has gone against what I've been taught in the past and um, I have been practicing it over the last couple of weeks since meeting him and I must say that I found an improvement and my chipping was a bit iffy did like the old um, yip even though I shouldn't really be saying that word um, got a little bit bit up and down really no pun intended there um, like not great all the time inconsistent as well what he's shown me I found so much consistency to my strike, um, my distance judgment has got so much better, everything's so much more compact and tight now in my shots that I'm hitting and hopefully you guys can take something from it. Now I don't know if you know anything about David Pels but he talks a little bit about this finesse swing which is every swing is going up to a full follow through even if you're only going sort of here you're going further through on the way back because he doesn't advocate stopping short and trying to cut it off because he's saying you're decelerating before the ball, which actually makes a lot of sense. You actually want to hit through the ball and carry on. So to do that, you will need to go up into these longer finish positions. So the first thing he was really talking about was this finesse where you set up and even if you're only going to swing to here, you're still going through into these longer swingers, uh, longer follow through, sorry, and, and holding those positions and really going through the ball instead of quitting on it early. Um, the other the other main thing I really took from it personally was more about his connection, how we're not really trying to bash at it, we're just letting our turn do the uh, work for us. You, you um, take a really light grip of the club and I couldn't believe how light he wanted you to hold it at first. I mean, Brian, the guy, came and put his, his arm onto mine and he said, yeah, this is how hard I grip the club and it, it didn't even feel like he was holding my arm on a scale of one to ten, it's probably like one and a half, two if anything, so a really light um, grip on the club helps you really feel the weight of the golf club, you can feel this and he did describe it as saying to me is this is a really heavy piece of metal, so if you're just going to put a light grip on it, one to ten, you can really feel it there, now if you get this turning with your actual turn of your body and letting this do the work instead of trying to swing with your arms a little quicker, just letting the turn do it, everything's working together you get a little bit more of a consistent strike going there and this judgement of distance, everything's going to be really close together because in, in my experience, I find that I tend to slide a bit so he's talking about these connections and a good tip that he did give me guys if you've got your alignment sticks get them into your belt loop which might look a bit weird doing this on your practice ground but it makes you a better short game player get doing it once you've got this in here now he was saying to me I tend to slide through the ball so on the way back there was no movement my body's not moving here and you can see if I just swing my arms back this pole hasn't moved is where if I swing back connected that pole's actually moving now there we go it starts to move so there's a connection here it's my upper body turning the club for me and coming through the pole's going to move again for us so we're going to hit a few shots now and just keep a focus on this pole here and then this working through into this longer finish and not cutting it off but accelerating through the ball one of the last little tip he did give to me is try and flare your left foot out a little bit so you can actually turn into your left side and drive it with your body with a straight foot you're fighting against it so if you've got it turned out you can really go through the ball so give it a go. So you're going to adopt that really, 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 really light grip. It, it feels so bizarre at the start, it doesn't even feel like you're holding the golf club. Then you're going to go back to sort of your L position, 
then we're going to go through into this follow through. And obviously, depending on how far you hit the ball will be different. If you're sort of going for a 70 yard pitch, that's there for me. So then up into this follow through. So make sure you're watching this and see if I actually do move. So I flare my foot a little bit here, that light grip. Not a bad result. Not all the way through, yes, even for me, then I didn't quite get into that follow through because I'm, it's, it feels so alien to me at the start. So we'll try it again now, see what's going. So we're gonna go back here with this light grip, making sure we're connected and turning. And then gonna come through into your longer swing, this finesse swing, he calls it. Give it a go, it's so bizarre, this light grip. Yeah, not bad. Good distance on both of them, pretty much the same, not far from the pin, so you have to take my word for that, by the way. It really is just, for me, getting this grip at the start was so weird. It just felt like the club was really loose, but then if you, you're just letting your body turn and rotate for you, it's still in control and it's just the weight of the club doing the work for you. And my strike's got so much better with this now, so light grip. Pretty equal weight distribution as well. I didn't want us leaning too far forward and getting too steep into the back of the ball. Once you're quite level all the way through, so you're just promoting a nice strike, not digging down or picking it up too much. Just letting the club do the work with this body turn. There we go. Really good. Now, take what you want from it guys I mean some people don't believe in what he advocates um, if you can take little bits from this like maybe it's just your grip pressure I did find that beforehand I was gripping it too tight and really tightening up my forearms and not being really able to release it and getting a little cut off from the d-cell so that for me really helped just the light grip pressure and accelerating through the ball into these longer finishes um, this, this staying connected is a big one you got this working you're not sliding, you're not promoting, hitting down on it or scooping it up or anything like that. Everything's just working together and it becomes a lot easier for you. So, I mean, so go, and, go and give it a try, see if it works. Uh, let me know. Hopefully you will get something from it and it will improve your short game. Um, remember guys, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel also. I've got a couple more coming out on some chipping stuff that he did. I like this Paula. Um, yeah, some chipping and some putting, so... Yeah, keep watching and I'll see you soon, guys.